Yes, this is another video inside the car. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do in this video is uh, tell you why these little AirPods could be the best headphone, earphone that you've ever heard. And let's pull one of these little guys out of here if we can. I uh, have to do it off camera here. But anyway, this is what the little critter looks like. It's got a little stem with the uh, magnetic attachment to the uh, case. And uh, that's it, goes in your ear. It's pretty secure, even though the ear pods for a lot of people weren't secure, this one is secure. But uh, this is to tell you why this could be the greatest earphone you've ever heard. And there's that little box, there's the AirPod. Now, uh, equalization, is something that uh, has been around for a long, long time. It's used and uh, it's been used in uh, ancient phonograph records and tape recording and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it was necessary there to uh, correct for certain deficiencies of the process. Uh, let's start with uh, this little curve right here, if we can see it. This is my equalization curve on the AirPods. I'm taking what is a 5 kilohertz frequency, shoving it all the way down about 12 and a half to 13 decibels, and I'm moving 40 hertz up at about plus 6. So that's a pretty big uh, change. And the sound makes the AirPods very hi-fi, very hi-fi. Now, a lot of people argue with that, and that's part of this lecture. A lot of people say frequency response is only one factor, distortion and soundstage and other things are other major factors, even more important, blah, blah, blah. Not true. Uh, frequency response, if done correctly, will make your soundstage really great, minimize distortions, and raise your sound level to something that's purely amazing. Uh, it'll get you 98.5% of the way there to absolute high fidelity. This AirPod equalized as I did sounds better than the average $2,000 headphone. And that's a fact. Now, a lot of people will say, well, wait a minute, you know, uh, that's according to your hearing. Well, no. If you hear, if you have normal hearing, it doesn't matter what range you're in, and, you know, whether it's shifted this way or that. If you have normal hearing, then you hear live music. And if your earphone sounds like live music, you really got a good sound there. Uh, so, in other words, hi-fi sound is natural sound. It's making your earphone sound the same as live music. So it's like you're really there. So it doesn't matter what your hearing is, as long as it's relatively normal and not damaged. Because, you know, uh, obviously if it sounds natural to you, like live music, it's going to sound the same way to another person. Because the response will be flat. will be not distorted. So your hearing doesn't matter. Uh, perfect pitch matters. People who have perfect pitch, uh, musicians and so on, are the ones that do. They perceive tonality in uh, music and hi-fi that a lot of other people miss. And so uh, by adjusting, if you get the frequency response adjusted just right with an equalizer, you can correct tonality 90, 95% at least. You know, you can really get pretty darn close. Uh, another thing that's uh, one of the other audio myths out there besides the uh, uh, frequency response thing is uh, people talk about personal preference. If personal preference were valid, then um, beyond, you know, just picking something that's distorted towards being a little bit warm or a little bit cold or a little bit bright or a little bit soft or whatever, there is there is a certain personal preference in there. People don't want natural sound necessarily or they don't think they can get it. And uh, but still, uh, on a on a big scale, no, it doesn't. Uh, it's not valid because then nobody'd be able to make any two thousand dollar headphones, and they make tons of them today. The whole point of making those that expensive is to get a more natural sound, uh, which is hi-fi. Uh, another thing, uh, audio myth, and I mentioned soundstage already. When you get the response just right, and when you get the the natural sound through the equalizer. Uh, your soundstage becomes pretty amazing. It becomes open and clear and, and just 
amazing, like like real life. And one of the things that you can do to test whether your audio system, earbuds, AirPods, whatever they are, is uh, natural sounding, is simply to take a walk around all different parts of the city, the traffic areas, shopping areas, uh, places where people are conversing and talking, and uh, turn the system off, take the headphone off, the AirPods out, and uh, listen. It, does it sound the same? Uh, or does the, the natural sound, the open air sound, sound a little brighter maybe than your earphones? Chances are it does. And that's uh, one of the uh, things they don't tell you about uh, high expensive audio is the fact that uh, they're kind of suppressing the highs a little bit because of all the distortions in the system. So, you know, another reason why uh, equalizing is really good because you can get a more natural sound. Uh, another myth is that the audio experts, the ones that make the most money and have the biggest sites, are the ones that know the most, and it's not exactly true. Uh, these guys have really great measurement tools, and they publish documents that are helpful to people and so on, and they have great following, uh, but that doesn't make them right about any particular thing. The only thing that's right is natural sound. If it sounds here like it sounds live, you're home free. Uh, another item, value for cost. Uh, this is 160 bucks. A lot of people think it's way overpriced for 160 dollars. I think uh, if you get this, you got an equalizer to tune it up, parametric equalizer. You're going to have the greatest value in the world, and uh, it'll sound better than most 2,000 dollar headphones, and which I have a couple. And this equalizer sounds better than they do. Way better than they do out of the box. So, I think I've covered just about everything here, and I'm going to tell you that this is this AirPod for a whole lot of reasons. The convenience of it, the fact that it's so lightweight, you don't feel that you have it in. This is the next best thing, to being able to dial in all the audio that you want without a device at all. Just It's just almost like you had something invisible in your ear, and and, and you can stream high-quality audio into it. So, uh, you know, great for watching TV, movies, uh, streaming radio, uh, whatever. And uh, so to me, this is potentially just the greatest thing ever invented in uh, personal audio. And I highly, highly, highly recommend it when you can get one, which they're not available yet, at least not widely available. So that's it. That's my lecture and uh, AirPods review number two. So uh, go get them.